Lindsay, thanks. 200,000 to 3 million people are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes every year. NBC 15 Sharon Yu met with two young Wisconsinites with T1D who have some exciting news to share. Lee, I had a chance to chat with six-year-old Jack and nine-year-old Stella who are headed to Washington, D.C. to meet with members of the Congress to lobby for type 1 diabetes research. They were selected from a pool of 1,500 people to represent Wisconsin in D.C. and Stella says she wants to share her story of her battle with T1D. She says even with all the monitoring she has to go through in a day, the hardest part of dealing with, dealing with is reactions from people who just don't understand. Well, there's a lot of time when people just come up to me and ask, what's that? What's that thing on you? What is it? And it, it annoys me because it feels weird to have someone coming up and asking you something that you know and have told people so many times. Jack's mother, Jessica, says she hopes they can secure funding to fuel research that already has been making big strides. She hopes newer gadgets will help ease the rigorous schedule they follow each day and night. We are his pancreas, and that means we're his pancreas all night long as well. There's no break. There's no break. There's never a break. There's no vacation. You're always sitting in a desk working. Yeah, and so, I mean, even throughout the night. So, um, you know, with Jack, we're up multiple times a night. Now, they will be joining 160 other children to lobby for their cause. The Children's Congress will be, will be from July 13th to the 15th.